Hi everyone, um, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the tools that you would be needing if you want to be starting polymer clay. Um, some of these are things that I use personally because I mostly do miniature food but I also do other stuff. So anyway, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need a work surface and I use this um, chopping board that I got from Hangland and it, the other things that you can use are like tiles or um, acrylic plastic sheets. Don't use any type of plastic because some plastics can react to polymer clay and they make it all sticky and horrible. But anyway, you'll also be needing a roller. And I have this one. Dirty, but... Yeah, so you need that to roll out your clay. You'll be needing something to cut your clay with, and I have these different blades that are from Sculpey, which is um, a clay company. So I have two straight ones. This one's a more flexible one. And this one, and the, this is a rigid one, and it has this handle on either side. But you can take them off to put them on each one. And then there's these like wavy blades. That there's that one and this bigger wave one. So that's good. Then you'll be needing paintbrushes if you want to save your stuff. I use these cheap little brushes. And so yeah, those, I use them for like shading with chalk pastels. Then I have this one, this paintbrush is dirty, but I use that for glazing. I have these small tools that I haven't really used yet, but because um, they're quite new. But these can be used for texturing and they have different ends. And then you'll also be needing a toothbrush, but this is only if you're doing things like food or texturing, like cupcakes and things. If you are making food, you'll be needing some molds. Well, you can make them yourself, but I use molds. So this is a cupcake one. And then they, they make things like this. And this one is a macaroon one. And it just makes things like that. Then you'll be needing something to stick your, your pieces together. So this is liquid clay and this particular one is PLS or translucent liquid sculpey. And then I also have a mold for like this is just a bow, so I use that for decorating. Then I use these for like just to keep things in, to keep them in one place. I have these 
I'm not going to leave it, but I just... Because I don't want to buy something to keep my fingers. I don't know what it looks like, because... Um... Because I can spin my hands. And then I can get it all done with the other colours. Especially white, it gets really dirty. Um, if you don't want to buy these blades, because I think these were a bit expensive, I can't remember. But you can get cheap ones, like this is a sculpty knife that it came with five other tools, but I forgot to bring them out. And then I use this knife as well. It's just from a cutter thing that had the blade, so I got one. And then you also need a needle tool, but I don't have one here. It basically looks like it's like this, but the end is pointed and not round. So, yeah, that's all we need to start. Um, you might want to buy some stuff as you go on, but these are the things you need to start off with. So, I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know what you think in the comment box. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.